Hi everyone, welcome to my Art Time channel. Today's video is my next card in Kylie Koo's Positivity deck, uh, the Balance card number nine. Um, as you can see, I'm checking my book and writing a few things down to what balance means to me. Um, and to me, basically, it's trying to get an e equal sort of a balance between the things that I need to do in my life, uh, my work, my family, relaxing and sleeping. I do find it very hard to have a reasonable balance between all of those things. As you can see, I've just put a, a jelly print um, onto the front of the card and I'm just give, stamping it with a little love heart stamp just to give it a little bit of extra texture. And now just a little bit of scribble with a pencil, a grey lead pencil. Now I have um, an image of a shield which I'm going to uh, divide into four sections um, to represent each of the four things that um, I need to do to have an even balance in my life. And I've just cut it out, um, put it on with gel medium and now I'm using uh, my Uniball black gel pen just to give uh, to div show the divisions. And now what I've done is I've just gone through my stash and I'm trying to use some of the things that I don't use very often. And these are some little tubes of watercolor paint. Um, and I've just got the yellow one just filling in the d two sections there and the part of the banner at the bottom. And I'm going to use purple to fill the other spaces. And it's going so far so good. I was quite pleased with how it's going so far. And this is probably where I should have stopped. Um, it did go a little wrong after this. So just filling in all those little spaces using a very fine brush to do that. And I've dried it off, uh, just putting a bit of color on the word balance. Okay, this is where it went really wrong and you'll see what happens. This is just gesso, but it's a little bit watered down this, this particular one because I just wanted to tone it down a little bit and push the image back into the background a little bit. Um, so I've just put some on my brush and you can see what happened with the um, watercolor paints. Um, it was dry, so not really sure why it did that, but a bit disappointed. I thought I'd dry it, see how it looked. Um, it didn't look good. So then what I tried to do is um, wipe it off with a baby wipe and as you can see it kind of damaged the image underneath. So at this point I nearly did stop um, and throw it away but I thought no I've come this far I'm going to try to uh, fix it. So I'm going back with the paint and recoloring those areas trying to um, I guess hide the damage that I did. Still not happy with it um, but I thought oh well see what it's like when it's dry and I'm finished. And I actually nearly didn't show the video um, but I thought no everybody makes mistakes um, and it's always a challenge to try and fix them. So I thought, no, I'll let, I'll, I will continue. And I did persist with it. So I'm just going around the edges of the image now with the gel pen just to bring a sharper um, edge to the image. Okay, so just dried that all off. 
just using some pumice stone distress ink and what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd grunge it up a little bit more um, since it was already a little bit grungy looking I thought I'd give it a little bit more now I'm just using um, it's just a gray lead pencil and I'm just writing letters to represent each of the areas that um, I'd like to use for balance so I've got a W, a F, an S and an L. So work, family, sleep, relax. As I said, they're the things that I struggle with. And I don't think it is possible to have an even balance between them all. Um, I think for me, work is probably a bigger um, section than any of the others. Not necessarily by choice, but not a lot you can do about that and I've just stuck on the um, balance title and just going in again with the pumice stone on top of that word balance now just going around the edges a little bit with the gel pen And now I'm going over the letters with the white gel pen. I didn't um, think they stood out particularly well on the purple sections. And now with the black distress ink or black soot and just distressing the edges. And it's finished. Um, not totally pleased with it but um, it turned out okay uh, in the end so there's the other ones that I finished so that now makes a total of nine so thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe and I'll see you next time bye for now